Good morning, children. Today we are going to start with the second chapter. In the title of the chapter is Fruity Fun. So in this chapter we are going to talk about fruits and their properties and what they are called. There are some rare fruits in this which you may not know about. So let us learn about them. In this chapter there are four questions given. We will go through them one by one. So the first question is read the clues. So read the clues and identify some exotic fruits. Write their names in the space provided. So four pictures are given. These are some rare fruits, exotic fruits. Exotic word means which are not found in India normally. So these are from outside the country. And judging by the photo, you have to tell which fruit is this. So let us begin. Number one. It is also known as Pitaya. It is bright pink and scaly on the outside. So its ka ek dusra naam bhi hai, which is Pitaya. It is bright pink. And the color is bright pink on the outside and scaly, uh, bright pink and it's scaly on the outside. Scaly in the sense, just like a crocodile, it also has scales on it. So, if you have seen a picture of a crocodile, you can see that on its back there are a few scales, a little humps. So, those are called scales and the fruit has something similar of that kind. Now, the name of this fruit is dragon fruit because of its design and its peculiar uh, shape so because of the scales it has been called dragon fruit part two second number an excellent source of vitamin c we commonly known know this fruit as shatut so this fruit is found in india it is called shatut it's a very sweet actually it has two types one as you can see in the picture and the other ones are green in color so the green ones are sweet and these are a little sweet and sour at the same time so these are known as satut and the english name which has been given to them is mulberry so mulberry it is used in making in jam so as you as we eat with bread jam it is also used in that and pure mulberry jam is also made question number three it looks like a bunch of marble sized orange color tomatoes so these are tiny little fruits which are called poha berry so the name which has been given to them is poha berry these are little tomato like and they are covered in an outside shell to access these you have to take it off the bunch and open it and then you can eat it it is a little sweet and sour at the same time locally known as kamrak it looks like a star when slide sliced so as the question suggests ki jab isko cut kiya jata hai, it looks like a star so in the help box we already have an option which is named star fruit so answer for the fourth one is star fruit with this question number a comes to an end let us move to question number b which state whether the following statements are true or false so the first statement is dried plums are commonly known as raisins this statement is incorrect because dry plums are actually called prunes p r u n e s they are not called raisins raisins are made out of grapes jab grapes ko dry kiya jata hai sun ke under then they become raisins but when plums are dried they become prunes question number 2 pumpkin avocados and tomatoes are vegetable depending upon the situation tomato can be used as a vegetable and also as a fruit same goes for pumpkin and avocados are fruit as we know they are found in south american continent so the statement is also false they are considered to be fruits rather than vegetables question number three is pomegranate contains about 600 to 1400 seeds now this statement is true it can contain anywhere from 600 to 1400 seeds depending upon the size so normally it has 600 plus seeds but if the size is good then it would have more than 600 up to 1400 seeds question number four lemon contains more sugar than strawberries yes this statement is true the sugary chemical which is present which makes sugar is higher in concentration uski concentration lemon mein zyada hoti compared to strawberries so in strawberries it is 40 percent so in a strawberry suppose strawberry is of 10 grams then 4 gram of that is going to be sugar whereas in lemon the concentration of sugar is 70 grams so it has almost 30% more concentration of sugar than a strawberry. Let us move to question number C. Question number C is explain what the underlined phrases mean. 
pick your answer from the help box so there are a few phrases five phrases have been used we have to pick from the help box that what is the meaning of the phrase phrase has been underlined so first of all idiom is a phrase that means something different from its literal meaning it means ki words ka meaning aur us phrase ka meaning can be very different for example let's move to the first question and you will understand aman is a very obedient and intelligent boy aman ek very obedient kafi obedient aur intelligent ladka hai he is the apple of everyone's eye now अगर इसका वर्ड बाय वर्ड ट्रांसलेशन मैं करूं इट वुड बी एप्पल सेम एवरी वन जाए हर एक की आंख का सो लिटरल ट्रांसलेशन ये होगा कि वो हर एक की आंख का सेब है विच डज नॉट मेक एनी सेंस बट द एक्चुअल मीनिंग विच वी कैन डिराइव फ्रॉम दिस इज ही इज द फेवरेट पर्सन और द फेवरेट स्टूडेंट ऑफ एवरी वन सो वट दिस फ्रेज मीन्स इज द फ्रेज एप्पल ऑफ एवरी वन आई मीन्स फेवरेट so these five words combine and they give you the meaning favorite second question jay has been blaming karan for some time now but everyone knows it is just a case of sour grapes case of sour grapes now i believe that each and every one of you must have heard the story of the fox and the grapes ki jisme fox grapes khana chahti hai but because uske जंप करने के बाद भी उसको ग्रेप्स नहीं मिलते द फॉक्स सेज कि अंगूर तो खट्टे हैं सो दिस इज द एग्जैक्ट सिचुएशन इन द सेकंड क्वेश्चन केस ऑफ सावर ग्रेप्स इट मींस प्रिटेंड नॉट टू वांट समथिंग बिकॉज वन कैन नॉट हैव इट क्योंकि आप उस चीज को हासिल नहीं कर सकते यू कैन नॉट गेट दैट गेट दैट थिंग और गेट द सिचुएशन आप उस चीज को नहीं एक्वायर कर सकते विच इज वाई यू से कि मुझे इसकी जरूरत ही नहीं है आई डू नॉट नीड इट सो दैट इज वॉट इज है so just like in that story case of sour grapes means pretending not to want something because one cannot have it moving to the third one when arjun and ravi met their favorite actor they went bananas now the statement says ki arjun aur ravi jab unke favorite actor se mile they went bananas now went bananas ka ye matlab nahi hoga ki jaise hi unhone apne actor se mile wo banana mein badal gaye no that is not what is going to, what happens so this is what i am trying to tell you these phrases do not mean what is written in their words the words are different but they represent something else so went bananas means they went or they became very excited bahut zyada excited ho gaye which is why the phrase went bananas has been used so when arjun and ravi met their favorite actor jab wo apne favorite actor se mile they went bananas means they got very excited this is what the phrase is trying to say moving to the fourth one myra cherry picked the member for her new musical group now cherry picked think about a cake ek cake ke bare mein sochiye and usme cherry kahan pe lagi hoti hai you have to think about that cherry is always on the top of the cake so cake ke just top pe hoti hai to cherry picking ka matlab hota hai you have picked the best out of the best cake already is a very good substance but aapne usme se cherry ko pick kar liya means you have picked the very top person so myra cherry picked the member means unhone apne hisab se she chose very carefully unhone bahut dhyan se choose kiya cheezon ko aur she chose actually the member for a new musical group so she cherry picked the musical group for example when suppose you are going to play cricket and you have to choose a few members for your team so you know who plays well and who does not play very well so you are going to cherry pick इन दैट सिचुएशन आप उसमें से चेरी पिक करेंगे कि ही इज अ गुड प्लेयर मैं इसको ले लेता हूँ ही ऑल्सो इज अ गुड प्लेयर मैं इसको ले लेता हूँ सो यू आर पिकिंग द गुड प्लेयर आउट ऑफ दी बंच दैट इज कॉल्ड चेरी पिकिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव दिया एंड रिया आर ट्वेंट्स बट कंपेयरिंग दैम इज लाइक कंपेयरिंग एप्पल्स एंड ऑरेंजेस नाउ वॉट कंपेयरिंग एप्पल्स एंड ऑरेंजेस मीन्स कंपेयरिंग टू थिंग्स विच हैव नथिंग इन कॉमन फॉर एग्जाम्पल एप्पल इज अ डिफरेंट फ्रूट ऑरेंज इज अ डिफरेंट फ्रूट उन दोनों का कंपेरिजन कैनोट बी डन so that is what they are trying to say ki dia aur ria twins to hain but they are very different from each other so un dono ka comparison karna aisa hoga jaise ki compare karna bahut different cheezon ko because unke beech mein kuch bhi common nahi hai 